Welcome to our Pascal tutorial. At any point in time while you're watching this video, please pause so that you can have a better understanding of what we're doing. Here we have a problem. It is asking for the user to input um, the name and price of an item, the quantity purchased, and then to print the name, price, and amount due. Once it is that you get a problem, the first thing you ought to do is to identify what are the inputs needed, what calculations need to be done, and what should be outputted to the user. So here now, as input, we have name, we have price, and we have quantity. The next thing is that we need to calculate the amount due because this is not something that we asked the user to enter. And in the end, after calculating the amount due, we are going to output the name, price, and the amount due, which is the amount that was calculated. So let's write our program to solve this problem. Now, once it is that you are using Pascal, the first thing you need to have is the word program followed by your program name. Again, your program name cannot have any space or it cannot be the same as any variable that you have in your program. So we are going to name this um, price item. So you can have price item like that or you can have a underscore. Each line must end with a semicolon. Enter, next line. Now I'm going to outline the variables that I'm going to use in the program. So I'm going to use the keyword var. So this will signify that these are my variables. So it asks us to enter the name of an item. So I'm going to have I name. And because these are words, we're going to declare these as string. Well, declare this as string. We are also asked to enter the price. Now price can come with a decimal place, so we are going to declare this as real. Also asked for the amount um, due, so comma. We don't have to create a new line for that one. You can, but we don't have to. You can list all the variables of the same data type and separate them with a comma. So we have price and we have a m t underscore d so those are our variables to signify the starting point of our body we use the word begin indent because indenting is a good programming practice we need to know what is in our body so we indent away from the word begin so i need to give instructions to my user so i'm going to use write open bracket open quotation Whatever it is that we want to display on our screen in terms of text must be in quotation. So we're going to have enter the name of enter the name of the item purchased. Close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. Then we're going to have read and our variable name. The same variable name we use at the top is the same variable name we must use in the body of the program. So we're going to have I name, semicolon, right, again. So this time we want the user to enter the quantity, but we didn't declare quantity. Alright, so let's declare quantity, qty, as the integer. Semicolon. All right. So here now we want to enter the quantity purchased. Close bracket. Close semicolon there. Then we have our read statement, and whatever our variable name is, we're going to put it in brackets. So we have QTY. 
semicolon then we have right again open bracket close bracket and I'm going to have enter the price of enter the price of the item purchased and then semicolon read bracket and we're going to read the price here enter now let's do our calculation so we are going to have amount a amt underscore due and we use colon equal for our assignment and the calculation now that needs to be done so if we want the amount due that will be price multiplied by the quantity which is qty qty semicolon after which it did say now we are to output these information using suitable appropriate labels which means that we need to tell the user what is it that we are outputting so we use the word write again write is when we want to output but we're going to come back to something else as it relates to write all right so write so we want to output the item purchased is and we enclose that in quotation so whatever text we want to output then the variable name must be separated by a comma so the item purchased that is what we want to be displayed on the screen as text then we want the amount that is stu stored within the variable to be outputted so now we are going to put i, I name Then we have again right open quotes and we're going to have the price of the item is comma and we're going to have price because that's the variable that we had semicolon right open bracket close bracket open quotes open quotes the amount due is close quotation comma and we're going to have amt amt underscore due semicolon now that's it for our input we have our input we have our processing we have our output so now we need to close the body so we use the word end and a full stop now I'm fully aware that there are some errors in here, but I want you to get familiar with um, the syntax. So let's compile. And when we compile, we check to see what errors we have in our program. So compile. So here now it is saying unknown identifier because we did not declare this as a variable and we did not enclose it in the quotation. So let's do that quotation, sorry, single quotes. Compile. Here it is saying line is too long. That is because we have a, an opening quotation, a opening quotation mark, but we don't have a closing quotation mark. That's that there. So let's compile. Here, same thing. Line is too long. Alright, compile. So here now we have compile successful so that means now that we can run our program so let's run good now take note now of what is happening here our cursor is right beside the last word that we have in our sentence enter the name of the item purchase so let's say we are um, purchasing patty right and then we select enter so our information is going across enter the quantity purchase so we're purchasing two patties and the price of the item is 140 so here now the amount is 2.8 now let's fix this issue with all the information going across 
so we go back to our program all right go back to the top now what we're going to use is that we're going to change the right to right line because we want the information being displayed in its own line and not running across the screen so we put right ln and we change the read to read ln also good and run note now where our cursor is so we were purchasing patties before so patty 2 price of the patty 140 and here we have the amount due so let's fix this now right here we're seeing this coming up as 2.8000 because we declared it as real so we're going to tell the system that we want this information to be displayed to two decimal places. Alright, so this was an error. I'm supposed to have this here and this here. Space this. And let's put a dollar sign right here. Alright, so for the amount due, you're going to put colon zero colon 2 so we're telling the system that we want to display the information to two decimal places so if you wanted 3 or if you wanted 0 this last two would be 3 or 0 respectively so let's compile compile successful run enter the name patty enter the quantity purchased 2 Enter the price of the item, 140, and here we have $280, but we didn't do it for the price of the item, so let's fix that. So, it's a dollar sign here, because we can't declare this as currency, so just put a dollar sign. So that was colon, zero, colon, two. Compile, and run. Patty, quantity purchased, two, price of the item, 150, let's change the price, and there we have it, good. Alright, now let's say this very same problem, we were supposed to calculate the tax, right? Um, now we know that tax is a set price, so we are going to bring in the constant aspect of this now. So if you have constant, we use the word C-O-N-S-T, and we are going to have tax equal, um, what's the tax, 16.5%, and we can't use the percentage sign, so we need to convert that to a decimal. So 16.5 would be 0 0.165. Good. So here, we're going to calculate the price of the item. So that's our constant. That should not change throughout the course of the program. So here now we have price. So let's put bracket price multiplied by the tax close bracket times quantity compile compile successfully so let's check this now so name of the item let's say you were purchasing um soda quantity purchase three sodas mm, eighty dollars per soda price of the amount you is thirty nine sixty. Let's check up something. Oh we didn't add it back. 
we didn't add it back. So that would be plus price times quantity. Alright, so let's compile and run. Alright, so we had soda, three sodas, and the price was $80. Good. So that's correct there. So here now we brought in the concept of constant in our program. I hope this video was informative and it will help you with your CSEC preparation. The next video will be looking on if statements and loops in Pascal.